Two forces have magnitudes Pn and Qn, so that's probably P newtons and Q newtons. The resultant for the two forces has a magnitude of 12 newtons and action in a direction of 40 degrees clockwise from the force of magnitude P and 80 degrees anticlockwise from the force of magnitude Q, as seen in the diagram below. Find the value of Q. Okay, so we're not given a lot of information here. Hopefully we have enough to solve it. So, hmm. Let's start by, so we know that it's in equilibrium, I think, the resultant of the two forces. So we add this vector, and we add that vector, and we'll get this vector. So we can break it down into component vectors. So we'll say that PY plus QY equals 12. So let's see here, 80 plus 40 is 120, 180 minus 120 is 60. So that angle is going to be 60 right there. So the y components of y and the y components of q will equal the y component of 12. So rephrasing that, we know that there is no y component to q because it's horizontal. And finding this portion right here, the y component of p, that'll be... Um, P times sine of 60 equals 12 times sine of 80. So we can solve for P. That will be bum, bum, bum. clear mode. We're in degrees. Excellent. So we'll do sine of 80 divided by sine of 60 times 12, we get 13.645, okay, I'm good with that, 13.65 newtons. So that gives us the magnitude of P. So now let's look at things in the X direction. So we know that PX plus QX equals 12, but in the X direction. And so we're going to this, now we're going to use the cosine. So p in the x direction will p be p times cosine of 60. Um, q is all in the x direction, so that's just going to be q. And that will equal. Ooh, wait a sec. I think I have a should have a negative involved. So yep, I'm going to say negative p because it goes off in the left. So put a little negative right there equals Q, so I'm going to call this to the right positive, to the left negative. So then we'll do 12 times cosine of 80, which will be very small. So Q equals 12 cosine of 80 over, bum, bum, bum. Is that right? Seems right. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Nope, not over. We're going to do minus plus plus P cosine of 60. There we go. Working on the algebra there. And so do the calculator. So that's P right there times cosine of 60 plus 12 times cosine of 80. We get, bum bum bum, 8.907 newtons. And so the value of Q will be 8.907 newtons. So to kind of backtrack what we did, we know we were told that P and Q when added together vectorally will equal 12. Well, when two vectors are added together, you add both the X components and the Y components. And so we know the X components of P and Q have to add up to the X component of 12. And when we add up the Y components, the Y components need to add up to the uh, Y components of 12. So when we take those two points of data, we get two equations, two unknowns, and we just work through them. So not too bad, fairly reasonable problem if you, if you know how to do it. So I hope that helped. See you next time.